Hey everyone, welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Uh, as you can see in the top right hand corner, that 35 means that I'm currently level 35, which represents about 50 hours of gameplay to get to this point. This is my garage that I built up. When you start the game you only have one bay, but as you gain levels you can add to your garage. So I currently have three bays and I really got to the fun part of the game now because if we look at if we go here and you take a look at my skills see on the bottom here this is the level you need to be when you get to level 35 you unlock this thing right here which lets you repair body parts which means up to this point you can't really go out and get like a really you know rusted piece of junk car and fully restore it because you don't have the skill to repair body parts. So once you hit level 35 you can, so I thought this would be a good time to start a video because we've reached the point in the game where we don't have to just take let me show the, see you can take normal customer orders, you know, they have various problems with their cars and you can fix, you know, various problems and it, it does, it gets, it gets a little tedious after a while. But once you can repair body parts, and you can basically fix anything on your own, then the real fun begins. Because now you can, don't have to take orders, you can go out and find a car and restore it. And you have two choices. You get these barn maps, see? They're rewards for when you complete jobs, you get, you get barn maps, and they show up on your map, I'll show you. See, these barns show up on your map, and you can go to a barn, and there'll be a random car spawn in there and it'll be in some sort of condition, some sort of random condition or you can just go right to the junkyard and find something that's in really bad shape so before we head to a barn I thought let's do the real challenge let's go to the junkyard so we're gonna travel to the junkyard it costs five hundred dollars just to go there but I built up quite a cash reserve so that's not gonna hurt me so we're gonna go to the junkyard and I believe that there's a minimum of two or three cars in here that we can purchase. And they'll be in really bad shape. But I'm hoping to find something, some sort of sports muscle car or something is what I'm hoping to find. So we're going to go to the junkyard. What's this right here? Hmm. And you can see this one's in pretty bad shape, right? Let's see what it is. So we're going to find out what it is. This is a... Where's the name? This is a Hemi Shaker. So this is a... Do oh, there it is. A Plymouth Barracuda. Yeah, that sounds like fun to restore right off the bat. Now the frame can look... See, it's in terrible condition. So pretty much we're going to have to restore every part on the car. This looks like a fun car. It's going to cost us 14000 to get it from the junk air. We're going to do it. I like this. The first car I found. I like this. Yes. We're going to buy it. Send it to the garage. Alright. So that's all we need to do here. So we're going to go back to our garage. And let's start looking at our car. Let's see what we got to do to it. Alright, here we are back at our garage, and you can see, yeah, this is in terrible shape. Alright, let's get a picture of what we're starting with, okay, just so we can look back on this. Let's see here. Hmm, I haven't played around with the camera before. Well, F1, F2, and F3 don't appear to be doing anything, but anyway, let's just get a picture. I was hoping that I could crouch, but it seems crouch is disabled in the... That's fine, though. Let's get a good picture. Let's get a picture of what it looks like. This is what we're starting with. Alright, so now we get a picture of what we're starting with. Let's move this onto one of the lifters. We're going to move our car onto our lifter. 
We're going to start taking a look at what we got here to work with. Well, as you can see, we're missing the seats and everything on the inside. So it's a good thing I have a lot of money built up. You can see everything's rusted. There's parts missing. Looks like the valve rods are bent. We're missing all kinds of stuff. We don't even, we're missing the manifolds. Yeah, this car is in terrible shape. But by the time we're done, it's going to look pretty good. All right, so uh, what we're going to do for this first video is I think we're just going to systematically start rebuilding the car. So I think the easiest place to start would probably be let's do the rear uh, suspension and the brakes. Okay, so we're going to uh, work on the rear end of the car basically. And that's all we're going to accomplish for this first segment. So, let's start taking everything off. Hmm. Why am I having such a hard time? There we go. That was strange. Alright, so let's just start pulling everything off the car. We pretty much know that nothing's going to be in usable condition here. If you look in the upper left hand corner as I pull parts off you can see it tells you the percent condition. Um, you also can use exam mode but I don't need to examine. If you're trying to fix a customer's car you would come in here and start examining parts you know and discovering what needs to be fixed. But because I know basically everything's junk I'm just not even going to bother. We're just going to dismantle everything. So we're going to take off, we're just going to take the entire rear end off the car and then replace it. So it's got a spring expansion, leaf spring suspension. We have to take off the rubber bushings to get the spring to come off. I'm kind of regretting that I did not start the game in expert mode because after playing for 35 levels I wish I was in expert mode it just makes the game more fun so it doesn't highlight where the screws are and stuff and make it like you know all the little helpers it doesn't give you and unlike uh, Car Mechanic 2015 where it would let you convert your current save game to expert mode 2018 does not support that function yet so we're hoping the developers will put that in because I would really love to convert my game to expert mode. Let's get these rubber bushings out. Spring plate. Let's get this wheel off. Oops. Brake shoe. Drive axle. Now in expert mode it would make you come around here so you can see where the screw is that you unbolt it and you wouldn't get that highlighted helper to tell you where it is. Just makes the game more fun once you know what you're doing. Alright, let's get rid of the, the drive shaft. Drive shaft is gone. We want to get rid of the fuel tank, and let's get rid of the let's get rid of the exhaust while we're at it. All right, so as you can see, we've uh, disassembled the entire rear end, and I know that every part is bad. But you can go into your inventory, and you can see here's all the parts. Okay, and you can see they're all in terrible condition. Now, because we have a pretty half-decent repair skill, we can go to our repair table and we can see what can we fix. We have some things that we can fix. It costs money for each repair, but we have a pretty high percent chances of succeeding. So we're going to repair what we can. That saves us a little money. Now, once in a while, you'll actually fail at something. But with a 95 or 99% chance, 
chances are I'm gonna do pretty good. There, see, now that cost us far less money than buying brand new parts. And now you can see a lot of my parts are now at 100%. So what I'm gonna have to do is purchase, I'm gonna have to use my computer and purchase the parts that I need. And the easiest way to do that is to sort it by name Okay, sort it by name, and then you can just go through each part at a time. Like, for instance, I'm going to cut the video as I buy all the parts because it's pretty boring to watch someone do that. But I'll show you the first one just so you can see how it happens. So I can see I need two brake drums and one brake shoe. Okay, so we go to the, I pull up my tablet, I go to parts, and now it's under brakes. So I know I need one brake shoe and two brake drums. Okay, and now that I bought them, what I like to do is go back in. You see, I've got them. And I like to sell the old ones just so they're not in my inventory anymore and get rid of that. And you can see I have two brake drums and two brake shoes, so I'm all set to redo the, the brake parts. And then what I have to do is now go through every single part and buy it. And some of them are not, some of them are a little more difficult to find, um, but there's a search function. Okay, so I'm going to cut the video while I go and buy all the parts, and then we'll be right back in a second. Okay, we've purchased everything that we need to rebuild the rear end of the car. So now we're going to go ahead and start rebuilding. So we're going to go into build mode, and we'll start putting our parts back in. Shock absorber, let's put in the springs, the leaf plate, the U bolts, all right, and let's, while we're here, let's just pop on those, oh, I need two of those, I only bought one, I'm going to need another one of those, all right, let's do the other spring. Spring plate, and then the U bolts hold them in place. Nice, shiny, brand new everything. This car is here. We're not going to do the wheels. We'll buy the wheels at the very end. We'll buy brand new wheels for this thing. I can't forget about the rubber bushings. Come on, get me over there so I can see it. There we go. All right. Almost there. Brake shoes, brake drum. And yeah, we're not going to put any wheels on because we're going to wait till the very end to put new wheels. <laughs> I don't think, I think our car was missing a fuel pump, so we're probably, gonna, yeah, we're missing the fuel pump, so we're going to have to buy one. So, fuel pump, fuel pump. Pop that in there. All right, now we just got to find out what we're missing for exhaust. We need a rear muffler, rear muffler Hemi Cuda. All right, so let's go find one of those. Exhaust, rear muffler, there it is. Let's put that on. All right, now, are we missing anything on our back end here? Looks good, we're gonna rule about the 
I guess we can put on these, and then we're done. Okay, so we've rebuilt the rear end of the car. We will fix up the body and stuff later once we get everything done, but I think it's going to look pretty nice when we're all done. So that ends uh, episode one. In the next episode, we will probably start working on the front uh, suspension here, and then we'll get to the engine after that. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.